Hello my friends, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all about what I learned from a year plus of wearing a mask. Before we jump in, I want to thank the sponsor of this video, Basecamp, for sending me some really awesome and effective face masks for me to wear. All of their info and the products will be linked in the description for you to check out for yourself. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so before we begin, I want to talk about my new favorite masks from Basecamp. I got three different colors. It came in a three pack. So we have a plain black one, which is the one I've worn the most. I've already washed it a couple times. And then we have like this darker green color. It's really, really pretty actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just really like this color. <laughs> And then we have a navy color. We'll start with the outside of the mask. From the front, obviously, it just looks like a plain face covering. We've obviously grown very accustomed to wearing masks after a year plus, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But when we turn the mask around, we have a few very cool and new features that I haven't seen on any other mask before. So first of all, we have right and left, which I just think is so smart. I have some masks that the design is kind of vague or I guess it's, um, I don't know, pretty universal. So sometimes I'm like, am I wearing my mask upside down? Am I wearing it inside out? Which of course I wash them very frequently, but still I'm like, I want to make sure I'm wearing it the same way every time. So I just think that's really smart. And then it also has not one, but two different flaps to make the mask larger. So if you see from a side view, that's with um, both the top and the bottom layer sort of opened up. And the top one becomes sort of like a nose um, blocker and the bottom becomes a chin guard. So once I put it on my face, you'll be able to see a little bit better, but I just think that's really smart again because I, I've, I work with kids, a lot of these masks don't necessarily fit their faces all the time. Sometimes they're too big and they're like falling off and it's, you know, coming under their nose. You have to wear your mask over your nose, everyone. That is how it's been since the beginning. I always say to my kids, give your nose a blanket. And then sometimes the mask is too small and it like, you know, kind of falls up, if that makes sense, where it's like not resting under the chin enough. Um, I don't know, I made sure to find some really comfortable and effective masks that I would be fine wearing for an extended period of time because as we know this is probably going to be our normal for quite some time even if you are fully vaccinated you should be wearing a mask still especially in indoor places where you're not you know fully aware of who is vaccinated who isn't vaccinated it's just better safe than sorry I always say and at the end of the day as I've said in many of my mask videos it's just a piece of fabric find one that you really like, find one that is comfortable and works for you so that you can stick to it. And I think Basecamp is a really great option if you're still struggling. And then finally, we have, of course, a slot for a filter, as I think all of my masks do at this point. I don't really buy ones that aren't at least double ply and have a place for a filter. Like I said, better safe than sorry. So when I put this on my face, and of course it also has the adjustable ears, that's something that's like, you know, a no brainer at this point. If it doesn't have adjustable ears, it's, uh, it's gonna be tricky for you. And so when we put the mask on, we flip up the top flap and the top flap has a little wire so that it can bend and mold around your nose. Every base camp mask is three layers, two of just the fabric, and then there is a little slot for a filter. You guys know that I put a filter in all of my masks. So we flip the nose up and we place it just like this. They go around the ears and of course we have adjustable ear straps. If you don't have adjustable ear straps at this point, I don't know what you're doing. And then we bend it around the nose so that it stays nice and snug. This also helps prevent your glasses from fogging up. So if you put your glasses on and you just breathe normal, no issues. So if you are a glasses wearer like I am, this is definitely a must need. It took me a while to actually get a plain black mask. And then after I did, I was like, 
why did I wait so long for this? It's so nice to just have, it, have something like neutral that can go with everything. Um, yeah, and I am a big proponent of obviously zero waste, so I really haven't bought any disposable masks throughout this entire thing. Um, when I double mask at work, I actually wear like a one ply fabric mask, some of the ones that I got from the very beginning when everyone was like freaking out about masks. So I wear that one underneath and then I'll actually wear like one of these over it. I don't always double mask, but when I do, that is how I do it just because I like to reduce my waste as much as possible. And so investing in masks that are better for the environment and really effective, I think is just super smart and will carry us through until the end of this pandemic, whenever that might be. And then we also have a bottom flap. This is a different color. This is the green mask. Um, I really like the way this one looks just because I feel like it brings out my eyes. I think it's really pretty. Just a really flattering color, it really brings out my eyes because I have hazel eyes. That was something I said in like one of my first masks videos is because we'll have to wear these for quite some time. Um, you know, find one that you really like, find ways that you can enjoy it and not hate it so much. So find ones that, you know, bring out your eyes, pretty patterns, whatever you gotta do. And with this, you might be able to tell that there's a little bit of space between my mouth and the mask. So it creates like a doming effect almost. My lips are not touching the fabric at all. So there is that space. It allows for full breaths, for full inhales and exhales, which I love as a yoga instructor. And with that little space away from your skin and your lips, this helps with acne or any other sort of blemishes you might be getting from the friction of your mask constantly touching your face. So like I said, with these two extra flaps, we get that doming effect and I'm actually not touching the mask with my lips at all. It's really just resting on my nose and my chin and a little bit of my cheeks, but I'm able to talk really freely. I teach um, voice and acting classes as well, so I really like wearing these masks during those classes because I feel like I'm able to sing and project and my students can understand me, they can sing along with me, and yeah. And then finally we have the navy blue one, which I also think is a really pretty color. I don't know, something about these masks just make me feel like I'm in The Handmaid's Tale, so I feel like super cool. But again, these masks are just really, really effective. I've really enjoyed wearing them. Yeah, I just think this mask is so comfortable, sort of sleek. Um, I feel like I'm in The Handmaid's Tale because it's just like the shape of it. Um, yeah, it's great that everyone's getting vaccinated and it's great that the world is starting to slowly return to some semblance of normalcy or what we knew before. But as we know, a lot has changed in this past year. I really think it's not going to be as easy for people to just snap their fingers and sort of go back to life. Before COVID, um, there was a lot of loss, there was a lot of learning, there was a lot of injustice this past year that, again, I think it's going to be a slow, slow, slow um, trek back to what we consider to be normal or consider to be real real life i guess as i said before masks are probably not going away anytime soon as far as indoor places go i there's a rumor that like outdoor mask mandates might be lifted soon i don't know how i feel about that i'm still probably gonna wear one um but even if you are vaccinated you should be wearing a mask in public absolutely um because you don't know who is not vaccinated even if you are vaccinated, you can still carry COVID. It just won't affect you as much, if at all. Um, so you can actually still pass on the virus to someone who isn't vaccinated and is um, more, more susceptible to it. So again, I think for me at least, something I learned throughout this past year, so I guess this is number one for things I've learned from wearing a mask, is that we really are all in this together and I say that with sort of like an asterisk um, we're all in the same storm like COVID happened to the entire world it was unavoidable but it's it's hard to say that we're all in this together and we're all in the same boat because that's definitely not the case 
you know, we're all on our own versions of boats and some of us might be, you know, in a boat together on a, on a lifeboat. Some of us might be on a private yacht by ourselves and that's privilege, you know, and community, whatever. But we were, we, at the end of the day, we are all in this storm together. How we choose to navigate the storm and who we, you know, help along the way, who we sort of let go of, um, was all an individual choice, but you cannot deny that COVID affected everyone in some way, shape, or form. And so I think when I see people around me wearing a mask, especially wearing a mask the proper way over your nose, I just get this sense of like community and a sense of like humanity, like we are all recognizing that this is kind of weird. We are all recognizing that this is just what we got to do. And it does, I, I don't know, for me at least, it sort of like brings that camaraderie together. This might be crazy, but like when I go and watch videos of like my kids at the dance studio after like we're practicing and like, yes, they all have masks on, but they're all still like giving it their 100%. And like they just don't let it affect them and they just they keep pushing through and at this point it's literally just second nature to so many people and i honestly think it's a shame that people are still complaining about it and still making like such a big deal about wearing a mask it's just like get over it it's literally just a piece of fabric over your face that can literally save lives so I don't know. So that was the first thing I, I learned or sort of realized from wearing a mask for over a year is just we're all in the same storm together. The next thing I learned from wearing a mask over a year is you can communicate a lot through your eyes and through your body language. I feel like for so long we relied on our words or even just like our like mouth expressions to express how we're feeling. but. I can tell so much just looking at people's eyes and even people who like are hesitant to look me in the eyes with a mask on that tells me a lot as well I think it's really easy when you're wearing a mask and I'm not saying this is wrong I've definitely done it myself it's to sort of like go into your own world especially if you know you're wearing a hat you got sunglasses on or like your hood is up like you could be virtually invisible and like unidentifiable to the general public and again like there's nothing wrong with that but that is just like information that you are putting out into the universe like I don't want to be perceived today I don't want to be acknowledged today but you know we can communicate so much through just our eyes and through our body language like I still catch myself like smiling at people like when I see them just you know on the street or at the grocery store or something and I'm like oh I just realized they can't see my smile but then I was like Yes, they can. They can see my smile like through my eyes. They can sense my smile like through my body. If you have like an open presence, if you have like your eyes are smiling, like you give off energy. You don't always have to give off like direct emotion or direct, um, it, I, I don't know, like explain how you're feeling almost. Like I feel like I've just gotten really, really good at reading people's energies based on mask wearing because, and especially for, I would say, younger kids, or at least the ones I work with, they're like less likely to approach you or be open because of the mask. They might be a little like taken aback by it or just like a little freaked out. I don't know. But when you open up and when you step forward and when you engage, that can sort of break that barrier and then again the mask just becomes a second nature and you're not really thinking about it. The next thing I have learned is how to breathe through my nose and this might sound a little silly coming from a yoga instructor um, but I'm a big mouth breather. <laughs> I breathe through my mouth all the time and in the mask when you breathe through your mouth you can tell, especially if you haven't brushed your teeth recently, if you know what I'm saying. And again, and again, like I, my work is very movement based. So a lot of the times when I'm wearing a mask, I'm also moving around and I'm 
doing things. So when I breathe through my mouth and there's something blocking the like constant flow of air, I guess, because number one, side side note is you can breathe in your in your mask I, people who say I can't breathe I'm like yes you can you're just like obsessing over it and you're telling yourself you can't breathe so that's what your body is gonna do is gonna like freak out but you can breathe it's literally just a, a piece of fabric like I'll keep saying that but I will say it is more difficult to breathe in the mask when you are breathing through your mouth but when you make a conscious effort to breathe through your nose in and out, not only are you uh, doing great things for your parasympathetic nervous system and like your anxiety and just like being in the present moment, you're also, you know, not smelling your own breath and you're not getting out of breath quicker. It's just a great technique, a great tool that I've really been able to practice this past year plus um, thanks to the mask. The next thing I learned is really like how I like to express myself and I think that is very interesting because obviously pre-pandemic we all had clothes, we all wear clothes, but for, for me at least I would say my style is a little bit more subdued, um, I'm you know not bold in my outfits at all, I wear like leggings and t-shirts almost every day. Um, tank top sports bras like I, I wear I live in athleisure and for pretty much my entire life This is what I've lived in. I've been dancing since I was a kid um, I was an acting major in college and now I'm a yoga instructor and dance teacher So like literally my whole life has been athleisure has been Clothes I can move in <laughs> like it's literally everything I went to was like make sure you wear clothes you can move in so like cute tops and like pants and like skirts like that was never me just because I was never able to wear those things and I'm like not mad about it it's just like it is what it is and so when masks became a thing I was like oh cool I can wear like fun patterns and I can like I don't know color coordinate my masks with my outfits a little bit and for holidays like I can wear like something a little bit more bold and exciting like I got like so many Halloween masks that I actually only ended up wearing like one time each because of shipping delays or something and like same thing with Christmas is like I didn't get to wear them as much as I would have wanted to so I'm like low-key fingers crossed that masks are still around come this, the holiday season this year because I'm like I want to wear them I want to like show them off again um yeah, I know that's a little silly, but it's just, it is something I have realized. All right, so that is all I have for today. Those are five things I learned from wearing a mask for over a year. Be sure to check out Base Camp Masks online. I will have everything linked in the description. Go get some for yourself. They're really, really awesome. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Claudia H. Stein. Uh, what? Um... Yeah, that is going to be in a completely different video. I'm doing a full rebrand um, on my yoga page and my business and everything. Again, that will all be in a video very, very soon, so be on the lookout for that. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye!